Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 2 In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the FMJ attachment. And just a bit of trivia for you guys, FMJ is actually the topic that started In-Depth. Quite a long time ago, back in the MW2 days, I had a friend ask me, how much damage does FMJ add to my guns? And I told him, FMJ doesn't add any more damage, it just increases your bullet penetration. And we argued, and we argued, and we argued, and I looked it up, and then we tested it, and I kind of had this idea, hmm, you know, this. not many people know this. Everybody think that FMJ gets more hit markers on their sniper rifles. How about I make a video? Video about it and after I did Machinima Respawn liked it and the whole show kind of took off so FMJ is always an interesting topic to revisit because it goes way back for me. FMJ has the exact same effect on all weapons but the effect that it does not have that everybody seems to think it has is that FMJ does not increase damage. I put this in a giant bold because this is probably the biggest misconception about Call of Duty ever for all time. Pretty much everybody thinks that increases damage because on the little stat bar, when you put FMJ on, it adds one bar of damage, and you guys need to know that that stat bar uh, mostly lies, but it is representative of what the weapons are doing, and trust me on this one, I tested it a dozen times in a dozen COD games. FMJ does not increase your bullet damage at all. Rather, what it does is it increases your wall penetration. It increases your bullet's ability to punch through walls and kill people so that the damage on the other side of the wall is greater than it would be if you were using a normal bullet. It doesn't do this by increasing damage. It doesn't do this by increasing range or any other factors. It just decreases the factors that change your wall penetration. These factors that affect your wall penetration are most importantly angle of impact, bullet caliber, and type of wall. Technically, the bullet caliber and type of wall are one coefficient. The game recognizes the caliber that you're shooting and the type of wall that it's hitting, and it's got a coefficient table for each and every one of them. So technically, they're one, but it's easier to consider them as two. And the angle of impact. If you're shooting a wall directly on, as in head-on, like the wall is perfectly flat and facing you, it does the most damage. But as you hit a wall at more of an angle, in theory, the bullet would have to punch through more of the wall and be deflected a little bit more. It does less damage. So do bear in mind the by far most important factor is that angle of impact. The type of wall is definitely important, but that angle of impact is a huge, huge factor, and you won't be able to uh, wall bang people if you're hitting the walls kind of diagonally or sideways. FMJ lessens the damage reduction that the wall does, because on the other side of the wall, your bullets are going to be doing less damage, and they can even be doing less than the average minimum. Well, we're just going to make a theoretical gun that'll deal 25 damage uh, for every range, and if you shoot through a wall, it might be dealing something like 15 or 10 or maybe even five if it's a very heavy wall and what FMJ does is lessens the effect of that wall so that on the other side it'll be doing 20 instead of 10 or 15 and it also lessens that angle of impact effect you get a much bit more forgiving angle of impact and it lets you wall bang uh, some surfaces and some angles that you previously wouldn't be able to do before this mechanic has been exactly the same since Call of Duty 4. It worked the same in Call of Duty 4, in MW2, in MW3, it worked in World at War, it worked in Black Ops 1, and I tested it and it's exactly the same in this one. I don't want to redo the testing because testing full metal jacket rounds and wall penetration and service penetration is very laborious and very, very boring, but I can link you back to my previous and best video if you want to see a full testing of the effects of the impact of proficiency, which is exactly Exactly the same as Full Metal Jacket as far as the coating is concerned, and surface penetration in general for pistols, for sniper rifles, for submachine guns, for assault rifles, for anything, click that link up there. That's going to take you back to my MW3 video, and if I'm not mistaken, I had covered most of this information in the beginning of the video, so I'm going to link you to about halfway in where I started that hardcore wall testing with all these angles and stuff, and I'm not trying to be lazy and kind of cop out on making this video, but it is very, very boring, and I don't like redoing it for every single game when the test is valid because the coding has never changed. I highly, highly recommend you check out that MW3 video, but the most important thing to keep in mind is that FMJ doesn't increase your damage, but it does increase your surface penetration abilities. I find this most useful on light machine guns. Assault rifles, not so much. Definitely not a pistol, shotguns, that sort of thing, because the rounds are so low and your range is so low, you're not going for wall bangs anyway. But on light machine guns, FMJ is a beautiful, wonderful attachment that lets you punch through things like crazy. I highly recommend FMJ for light as a matter of fact, I run it on most of my light machine guns, but pretty much nothing else. 
Well, guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something useful. If you'd like to check out my previous episode about the S12 shotgun, you can click the box on the left. And if you want to check out my next episode about the silencer and range, you can click the box on the right when that's live. I can promise you that one's going to be interesting. I found out some things about the Black Ops 2 silencer that are different from other silencers. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and do all those YouTube sort of things. Drifter out.